Welcome back to Local 5 Live. For kids with food allergies and their families, Halloween can actually be kind of a stressful time of year. Yeah, as we eat well with Festival Foods this morning, we're talking about a fun event in store and the easy ways you can embrace the teal pumpkin. Dietitians Lauren Lindsay and Bri Brittany Nicolich are here. Good morning to both morning. of you. Good morning. All right, let's talk first about, I think we some people are mildly familiar with the teal pumpkin project, but what really is it? Well, it's if you see a te teal pumpkin, on someone's front porch for trick-or-treating this Halloween, it means they have non-food treats or allergy-friendly treats at their house. So it doesn't have to be non-food, right? right? I mean, they can say, you know, we've guaranteed we've purchased something that's allergy-free. Right. Okay. And we have some great options actually at Festival too um, in our natural and organic department. Uh -huh. So there's, these are my favorite, these Yummy Earth organic lollipops and they're free from a lot of allergens. They come in really great flavors like pomegranate and watermelon. So they're actually a really fun option. Mm. And then Enjoy Life candy bars. Um, they're Boom Chaka Boom mm. is, the, is the name. <laughs> and they come in rice milk and dark chocolate flavors. And they're, the whole Enjoy Life brand is free from the top eight major allergens. So mm. great option there. Mm. Um, but also in the regular candy aisle, things like Double Bubble and the Caramel Apple Pops, which are always a huge hit at Halloween. Those are free from gluten, dairy, eggs and um, tree nuts and peanuts. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Things also I didn't know. Option. Bring yeah. on the double bubble. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. For me, I have celiac. My nephew has a severe dairy allergy. Talk about why it's so important for kids to kind of feel normal when they get to go trick-or-treating. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Trick-or-treating is just a fun tradition for kids. Um, it's just something that everyone's doing. So for them to have to not be able to participate or go home and weed out that huge pile of candy mm -hmm. to only get the things that they can eat, it's a bummer, so mm -hmm. it's important that we have treats that they can enjoy as well. All right, let's talk a little bit about some of the other cutie things. These mm -hmm. are great ideas because they're very thrifty too. Like you can get so many glow sticks for like a buck. So what are some of the non-food options that you suggest? Yes, so you can do things like stickers, pencils, bracelets, erasers. You've got the glow sticks here, bubbles. Really any of that fun, you know, toy stuff that kids like is definitely something that Number one, all kids will like it. You know, they get a lot of candy, so sometimes mm -hmm. it's good to change it up too a little bit. Um, but for those kids that do have severe food allergies, these are things that parents can be confident that are obviously safe since they're not ingesting anything. Sure. And you're going to have a lot of these options at a big event coming up at your store. Talk to us a little bit about Boo Fest. Yes, yeah, so Boo Fest is an annual event for us at Festival Foods. Um, this year it's being held actually on Halloween on Saturday the 31st. Um, it's being held from 10 to 2 a.m. at almost all of our store locations. So kids um, 8 and under are encouraged to come with their parents, dress up in their costumes, get it a little preview for Halloween, and they can actually trick-or-treat around the store. So we have different booths set up around the store with um, different food items as well as things like the non-food items that are fun. And at the tables, um, you can identify the non-food item booths by the teal pumpkin, and we also are going to have these signs there as well. Um, so lots of fun foods. We're doing things like a little bit healthier options as well, things sure. like apples, fig bars, string cheese, chocolate oh. milk. Um, so it's not just candy. I mean, there's definitely candy. Kids can also come and decorate their own cookies. So it's just a really fun event, and all of our associates dress up too, so you <laughs> can um, see some of your favorite characters throughout the store, and it's just a really fun family event. Yeah, and I mean, I, when you know when you're getting an apple, you might not eat it from someone's house because, sure. eh, but when you're getting it from a <laughs> festival, you know it's going to be good. Is it kind of a learning event, too, for kids when they're kind of going through the store? Yeah, I mean, it's good, number one, a little preview before Halloween. So, you know, talking about walking, kids need to walk throughout yeah. the store and obviously behave. Um, it's a good opportunity for parents to teach kids about manners, you know, things like that. Um, but also just getting a little bit of hands-on experience as well with, you know, decorating the own cookie, uh -huh. your own cookie and, and things like that. So, right. and lots of fun. All the stores in our area are participating, right? Yes. Yes. Yep. Okay. Well, very good ideas, ladies. Thank you so much for coming in this yeah, morning. Thank, thank you. you. Let's take a look at those deals. One, that deal one last time. Boo Fest, October 31st from 10 to 2. You can wear the costumes to the store. You should wear the costumes to the store. There's trick-or-treating, all sorts of fun stuff like we were just talking about. Festfoods.com for any information on festival foods. Thank you so much for coming in. This is a very well-painted pumpkin. My props <laughs> this is to you. Thank you. you did that. Oh, my right. masterpiece. Yes, it's very nice. <laughs> thank you.